How's everybody doing? Welcome back to That's That Podcast on YouTube. This is issue number two. Recommended for mature readers. PD Bags. Fanographic Books. $2.50. Hate. This was his series after he did neat stuff. He was also, I think he still might have been the head editor of Weirdo, the Robert Crumb started magazine when this issue came. Well, this is a reprint. This is not a first print. Uh, this would, I'll give a shout out because, fuck, I don't know if the comic shop actually, it does not exist under this name. All right, Newland, Texas. It used to be Lens Comics and Jeff Bryant and his now ex-wife Deborah Bryant ran the place. And he knew I loved hate and knew I was missing some issues because I had a full run up until about 96. And when I moved, I kind of lost a bunch of comics. So he found these. Even though they were second and charged me like next to nothing for them. Had them put aside for me. All right. So hate number two. Now, warning, there might be some shit in here that's kind of graphic. I'm sorry. Don't let no kids watch this shit. Blah, 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 blah. I'll cover my ass. All right. Fourth printing. This is from 95. Okay. It's just plain black and white. And he somehow's like, this is the one, oh, this is the issue where he gets new underwear. He's, but he's trying to get into shape. He goes out and his roommate, one of his roommate, George, is watching America Swinging some videos. This is from, issue two would be 90, about 91. Quite a few years. By the time this had come out, I think they're already in color. They're stinky. That's the other roommate. Some chick stink these days. Oh, this is when he meets Valerie. Okay. This girl right here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Here. These panels. Her and Buddy end up dating for a little while. Just a great little, great little kind of semi-autobiographical comic. And it was just oh, it was so such a blast to read this shit. And she tells him, like, she works at this bookstore. She ends up going there. It's like a feminist bookstore. So he's trying to find stuff to... Look at... Then end up going on her, like, I think it's her lunch break to a thrift shop. He finds some records. Oh, shit. Killer by Alice Cooper. I left this record at my folks' house. I actually miss it. But if I buy it now, she'll probably think I'm the dweeb of the century. So he hides it. Because he's going to go back and get Alice, Alice Cooper Killer. But like, fuck it, I buy that shit. It's probably, what, 50 cents? And she gets this little hat that pops. Notice how he Baggy does a lot of panels, you know? Oh, and Lisa! Yeah, it, Lisa's the girl who... I think he knew back in Jersey. He dated for a short while originally. And by the end of this series, he's married to her, I'm pretty sure. I know they have a kid or a kid on the way. It turns out Lisa is Valerie's roommate. Yeah, just read that panel for yourself there. <laughs> That's what you would get in hate. Buddy was not, you know, the most likable main character a lot of times. You're just like, man, fucking Buddy Bradley. And Buddy and them throw a party and Valerie shows up and gets drunk. It's, oh, yes, is when she starts dancing all crazy and shit. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Look at this. Go soak your heads. It's party time. Yeah. <laughs> she breaks something. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I love Peter Baggy's art. It's so cartoony, but yet it's realistic enough where you're like, yeah. I kind of know who he's talking about, you know. You can translate it to human dimensions. You're like, yeah, 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 I know. And then Buddy ends the issue. Having sex with Valerie in the hospital bed next to the guy that's dying. Give us your fucking money. Yep. Bitter bag. Shield the fuck. I was the other thing I loved about it. He was like, fuck it, I gotta make some money. So he they had all kinds of the hate hats. There was Zippo lighter shirts, you know, all the different books, buttons, postcards, rubber stamps, the issues, of course. And then the I Want to Be Bad back cover. I guess that's Lisa, because 
This looks like back when her and Buddy were living. Well, that would be later than this. Yeah, that's when they do the tapes. Maybe, well, since it's a fourth printer, maybe it's not the original back cover. I don't know. I have no idea. I had most of these in first print, maybe like the third or fourth issue. Maybe I had a second print on most of these and then lost them, like I said. Thanks to Jeff Bryant, Deborah Mann Bryant, I think is what she went by back then. I have not talked to either of these people in a long time. I acquired this. And, yeah, I didn't even pay $250. He had a whole stack. He's like, look, this is what I paid. I got to make a small profit. Will you pay this? I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, that's, I thought you were going to ask cover price each issue, but yeah. Well, they're not all first months. I don't care. Yeah. It was really cool. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.